What's up guys and welcome to a new video. So yeah guys, Rockstar dropped some new information about the summer update. So yeah, let's go through it right now. So Rockstar Games posted two things of information about the summer DLC on the newswire yesterday and today. So yeah, let's go to that of yesterday first. So yesterday Rockstar Games said new Red Dead Online Blood Money details tomorrow. So this DLC is going to be called blood money and i think that's pretty cool also has this picture with it and on this picture you see a man with owen gila hat and he has like a customized scatterman revolver and it seems like they are robbing or they are just uh, freeing some prisoners on the train but rockstar came today with some more information about the summer dlc i mean 7 of july that's today and uh, they came up with a trailer i show you at the end of the video but also they came up with a lot of information about it in the newswire and we go through it right now. So yeah, let's go. So Rockstar Games starts this newswire post with earn your blood money across a series of daring robberies. So yeah guys, we're getting robberies. So I'm very excited about this. And they say new opportunities and more coming in next week's Red Dead Online update. Step into the burgeoning criminal underworld of Red Dead Online Blood Money on July 13th. So that's next week, Tuesday. So I'm very excited about it. And prove you are willing to get your hands dirty in service to some particularly notorious and well-connected members of St. Denis Society. So this Blood Money DLC is going to take part in St. Denis. So that's pretty exciting news. Because St. Denis was a bit a boring town to me. I never came there. I only went there a couple of times when I had to do something there. But it's a bit a boring town. And now they bring a bit life into it. So I'm very happy about that. And after the text you see this picture of a mafiosi. It's uh, Guido Martelli. He's the underboss of uh, Angelo Bronte. And he takes over St. Denis after Angelo Bronte. You see take him a uh, gun from a police officer. And you see uh, another guy is in handcuffs and stuff. And I think maybe he's going to execute him or something because he's above the law. We all know that Angelo Bronti was above the law, so probably he as well. They run the city. So the news why post goes ahead. Blood money. There are whispers in the alleys of Le Moines capital that Guido Martelli, right hand man and underboss to the infamous Angelo Bronte needs gunslingers of strong constitution. And that are going to be us guys. We're going to be that gunslingers. Martelli is seeking to recover a valuable commodity known as Capitale. And Capitale means capital in English. And that's something that's worth a lot of money. In the trailer you can see some diamonds. So maybe searching for some diamonds or something. So it goes on. Originally devised as a unique system of exchange for more sensitive business dealings away from the watchful eyes of the taxman. It since ended up in the hands of nearly every lowlife across the five states now. Bronte and Martelli want it back. So they want it back and they will hire you, the protagonist, the online protagonist, to recover this. So that's pretty cool. So it goes ahead. If you can find and return it, Martelli will reward you with access to more worthwhile criminal opportunities. So yeah, that sounds like some drip feed to me. But yeah, to be honest, I like to drip feed because that means you got every week something new. And this second text ends with Martelli is purely focused on results. Entry into this world of more civilized crime requires nothing beyond a trusty sidearm and the willingness to use it. And no upfront investment is required. So that's a pity. It seems that you don't get a business or something. I wish we could get a business or something to work from. So probably no moonshine check because they say here in this text and no upfront investment is required. So it's going to be mission based, I guess. And under this text, you see this picture of Anthony Foreman. So maybe he's also going to take part of this uh, missions and stuff. Or maybe he's the bad guy. I don't think he's the bad guy because you already have missions for him, stranger missions. So it will be really strange. So maybe he will help you. So under that picture there is a lot of text, but we do this one in three parts. So the first part it says Crimes and opportunities. Martelli has entrusted some of the West's most reprehensible soldiers of fortune with leads on where you can might find Capitale. 
Fisting this context will reveal an entirely new type of work known as crimes. Crimes will range from cloak and dagger coach holdups to multi-stage robberies, including kidnapping, brutal debt collections, and more. Yeah, you see also this in the trailer, so it seems that this Matelli will give you some uh, connections and you will do missions for this connection. So that's pretty cool. So it goes on. Embark on crimes either as a lone gun or with a full posse of cutthroats alongside you. So yeah guys, you can do these missions with a full posse, seven man posse. That's really cool because the legendary bounce you can only do with four people. During each outing keep a keen wit and search high and low for signs of Capitale to return to Guido Martelli. Including from hidden chest or on the remains of those who've crossed your path. As you traverse the plains in free roam, you may hear of unlocked homesteads and vulnerable camps ripe for the picking and begging to be relieved of Capitale's test. So it seems you can do missions and it also seems you get it in free roam. So free roam events probably uh, just like this legendary animal spawning, then the spawns a uh, camp or something with Capitale in it. So that's pretty cool. So the last part of this text goes, accumulating enough Capitale for Guido Martelli will reveal opportunities. These are dispatched by Martelli in a scheme of stifle, a rising Lemoyne senator who is disrupting Bronte's operation throughout the region. Each opportunity can reveal various approaches to the task at hand, listening to nearby conversations or look out for important targets to uncover new path to completion and weaken this politician's position by bringing each of the three jewels, so there are going to be three jewels, I already told you, I saw diamonds in the trailer, I'll show you the trailer later, of the West to Martelli. The first of these three opportunities available on July 13, that's next week Tuesday, while two more will unveil themselves in time. So guys, this is going to be drip feed, but like I said, I do like the drip feed, because that means you still get some new stuff in the game. So under this text you see this picture of the quick draw club, number one it says, and that's what we're going to talk about now, and you see this girl in Dutch outfit, so that's pretty cool, I think we can unlock Dutch outfit. The quick draw club, the quick draw club is a series of four distinct rapid fire passes, so this is going to be like some outlaw passes, but quick outlaw passes. So this quick draw club arriving in consecutive installments over the coming months, so that's also going to be drip feed. Purchasing each membership entitles you to rewards, bonuses and items to help live life on the fringe of the law. Starting with Dutch outfit, like I said guys, we are going to get Dutch Vandalin outfits. With each consecutive pass you purchase, you earn additional perks and rewards for continuing the journey. Each pass will cost 25 gold bars, so each pass will cost 25 gold bars, all of which you earn back by completing the past 25 ranks. So this outlaw pass or this quick draw club pass going to have 25 ranks and you can earn the 25 gold bars you put in back. So, but you have to unlock all the ranks. So it's pretty cool. These are going to be like fast uh, outlaw passes. I like this. As an added bonus, players who purchase all four passes will receive the upcoming Halloween Pass 2 for free, guys. So we are going to get a Halloween Pass 2. So also pretty excited about that. It sounds really cool. I like the first Halloween Pass, to be honest. And this first quick draw pass will be available until August 9. How do I know that? Because Rockstar posted on the Instagram a small video of it. And I'm going to show you that right now. So let's go further with the Newswire post. Under this text you see a picture of a girl with Arthur's Morgan summer outfit and you see a new horse. So under this picture this is not really for the veteran players because they already unlocked it. But they say they're going to return past items including that uh, Arthur Morgan outfit you saw. Also the John Marston outfit and also the Bill Williamson and Javier outfit so that's pretty cool. And they also say, as part of the July 13 update, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online on PC will offer NVIDIA DLSS support to all Windows users with eligible NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics cards. The newly supported feature boosts frame rates, 
and generates beautiful sharp images. So that's pretty cool because I also play it on PC but I only play story mode on PC. Stay tuned for me details on next week's update here at the Newswire. So I'm pretty excited guys and now let's go check out this trailer. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Dear. The organization that I represent, it's a more civilized way of doing things. Eyes blind by Diamond, emerald, ruby. Private bonds we call capitales. You will procure them. And if you value my friendship as highly as you should, Please, Senor Martelli, do not speak I, my name. I, you will bring them to me. I got to be your too late. Blue water, man. Impress me, and I assure you it will be worth your while. 